back with another plan with me in my A6 spring. So if you want to see me decorate for the week of November 15th, then just keep on watching. So first things first, it was 9:11 p.m. on Sunday night when I started filming. The inserts that I'm using for the week is these from Lights Planner Action. They are the week on a four page with the grid. I love these inserts. Kit was a last minute kit from the Planner Shack. I searched on Etsy B6 and print pression printable kit because I wanted something with these smaller, shorter full boxes, if that makes any sense. These ones right here, how they're short or they're, they're just square boxes and they're a lot shorter because I felt like it would work perfect in these inserts. This washi tape is from Simply Gilded and the pen that I'm using is the Zebra Sarasa Mark On in 5 or 0.5. So from the beginning of this week, I knew I was going to be doing another memory spread because I knew how busy it was going to be. I was prepping for a washi tape release as well as the pre-Black Friday sale, which it's actually Monday as I am filming this voiceover. The Black Friday sale is going on. I am just taking a little break, but I knew it was going to be a memory spread just because of how busy it was going to be. I knew I wasn't going to have time to sit down and actually plan out the week. And with last week being a memory spread, I was really like it made me so happy to be doing a memory spread and it was really comforting i did it at my own pace i was watching youtube as i was laying down all of these stickers so it was just a really nice or a change of pace that's for sure but anyways so i'm just laying down the theme for the week you saw me put down the washi which was like this gray toned foil i couldn't find a gold foil washi tape that kind of matched the kit as far as like the background color of the washi goes so i just chose that one and then for the week i am pulling gold foil i am putting down my date covers the date dots were from lux kitty designs so i'm just finishing off the date covers at the top and then i'm going to go in with the glitter headers that was on the kit there was four colors there was eight glitter headers so i just alternated the colors right underneath the date covers i just feel like headers i need headers to start off the day for most of my spreads so i'm just finishing that up and then i go into the sidebar which i really didn't know what to do i was kind of winging it plus i've never used one of the planner shacks kits before so i really didn't know how i was going to lay anything down going into my simply gilded bow like sticker book or seal sticker book and i pulled out this leopard print one as if there's not enough leopard print in this kit already here i am filtering through all of the sticker sheets because like i said i had no idea what i was going to do i pick a full box with an open on the in the middle so i could put a quote sticker a bow divider or header from the kit as well as the what are these called like ha no not habit tracker I don't know what those are called, but anyways, moving down to a bow divider from Once More With Love. So I kept track of what happened for the week on my phone, just like I did the week prior because it just worked out really nicely. I am using this You've Got This quote from a Happy Planner sticker book, super old, and I just used that to mark that I got this. I knew it was going to be a busy work week, so I just wanted to give myself some motivation. Using this girl sticker from illustrated by Kawi. I don't think she has these girls available anymore, but I do kind of cut off her body so that the bun would fit underneath the quote in the corner. And I just, I couldn't figure out where I wanted to put the sticker, but I knew I wanted to use it just to, I don't know, she kind of looks like me. Moving into Monday, I'm using this coffee sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. And that's of course to mark Hello Monday. I have to mark that every single week. I've been doing it since I believe 2015. I don't think I've ever missed a Monday, and if I did, I went back and put it in. But anyways, that is that. Moving down, I'm using a box sticker from the kit, and then this sticker of stickers is from a tasseled planner, which is closed. It just has some dainty foiling. I really miss her stickers. Well, not miss them because I do have a lot of her stickers left over, but I wish she would reopen. Anyways, just writing down so many stickers because all this week or this past week all i did was cut stickers because i was prepping for the pre-black friday sale like i mentioned which is going on right now that flag sticker i have no idea where it was from it's from my collection and that movie night script is from letters to apollo i think and then i'm just writing in i'm trying to darken it because you couldn't really see it we i we watched Fast 9 once again, and that is that. Moving down, I am putting 
the full box down and I am layering stickers on top of it because Monday I kind of had a lot of things to write. So I'm using this box sticker or label sticker from the kit. This Emoti from the Coffee Monsters Co. with a nail polish. I couldn't find a nail box that matched the kit so I am using this one even though it's just to mark that I put on some new nails which is the ones that you're seeing in this video. I like cutting off the bottom of the stickers especially when they don't fit and it just gives it a nice clean edge. By the way, these nails are from Impress Nails. I'm very impressed with them. This is my second time using them. I've had them on for a week now. They're still going strong, so yeah, I'm really happy with them. Washi Strip was an old $2 Tuesday, and then that computer sticker is from Bare Necessity Sticker Co. I ordered the pre-sale washi on this day. Moving down, I'm putting down that car sticker from Crafts by Thowie, and then I am just using it to mark that we dropped off my son's girlfriend in town moving down box sticker from the kit and then this messy bun girl sticker is from the lockhart co which i believe is closed the last time i used and checked her it was closed and then again i cut off the bottom to make a straight edge so that it didn't take up too much room and i am just using this to mark that i would had a late night so that is how Monday turned out. Moving on to Tuesday, I'm using a box sticker from the kit and then this munchkin from Once More With Love which with just a bunch of stickers because I printed and cut many more stickers. It was just a very sticker heavy week and I think I worked at least 10 hours each day this week with the weekend even more which you'll see when I mark it later. This paper and pen doodle is from Every Minute a Story and I just wanted to write smooth homework session. Ryder, it used to be really hard to do homework with him, but now that he's gotten older, he's a little bit mature, more mature, it's gotten so much easier to do homework with him. Full box and then I don't write anything in it because I don't need the space. That cough or that coffee, the popcorn sticker is from Tassel Planner, closed. And this is to mark that we watched Red Notice on Netflix. It was such a funny movie. I love The Rock. I love Ryan Reynolds. And it was just a really funny movie. I really liked it. Using this washi strip from the kit and then I am just cutting or using the sticker kit to cut out 1.5 inches of that strip, if that makes any sense, so that I don't have to like put it on the paper and then cut it. I can just have a strip that already works. And I am putting that down right underneath on top i am layering this i'm okay i guess emoji from the coffee monsters co i do cut it once again so that it fits the space a little bit better and then it looks like it's coming out of the washi strip on the top and the bottom and i just i was doing okay i guess on that day bow divider is from once more with love and then this emoji from the coffee monsters co or is that is that an emoji that's an emoji from the coffee monsters co and then i just wrote that i couldn't sleep on that night my stomach growled. I wonder if the microphone picked up that it growled. Anyways, moving on to Wednesday, I'm using this sticker from Melina Plans. I thought it matched with the kit super perfect, super perfectly. And then that work label is from Lilac Luna Plans. I'm using this box sticker, which I do cover from Bare Necessity Sticker Co. and this emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. I should have wrote first and then put that clear sticker over it and then i tried to switch pens but this one wasn't working on that sticker either and i was just getting kind of irritated so i ended up just covering it with another sticker this is an I, well first i tried ripping it up and then that didn't work so i just covered it with an old two dollar tuesday box sticker and this is to mark that the ps4 controllers were in quotations taken Ryder can get really angry at fortnite and he'll go crazy and so we just said that, you know, somebody came by and there was a noise complaint and got confiscated. So yeah, that's the second time that has happened. If we just take it away, like he just throws a fit even more so. If we just say that somebody else has taken away, then no big deal. I know, great parenting, right? Anyways, flag sticker from the kit. This box, not box, house with a delivery truck is from Iconic Imperfections. And then my Jacks and Pepper stickers got delivered as well as scentsy moving down i just put the fold box down from the kit don't need to cover that at the bottom i'm putting down a label sticker and then this emoji eating chicken nuggets we didn't have mcdonald's that looks like mcdonald's box we had dino nuggets for dinner i used to be so against dino nuggets i thought they were like fake and gross but those taste so good i even eat them anyways netflix sticker from my shop and then we dropped 
we watched Tiger King for date night. That completes the first half. Moving on to the second half, box sticker from the kit. That character is from Hello Studio Co. Jaden was home with a headache. The Vogue has returned to our islands. If you don't know what Vogue is, it's pretty much just like volcanic ash in the air and it causes so many problems. Sore throat, stuffy nose, asthma, headaches, the whole shebang. And it's so irritating when the Vogue returns because, yeah. But anyways, Jaden had a headache from it. Laptop sticker is from, I believe, Crafts by Thawi, and I just wrote still so much work to do. Like I said, I worked like crazy the entire week. I used this box sticker that had the border so I could write inside. There's kind of a lot that I wanted to mark on Thursday, so the first thing that I put down is this, like, munch, not munchkin, emoji looking at this cupcake. Jaden made brownies this day after he was feeling better. We didn't have eggs, so we googled what to use, and it said to use applesauce, but it didn't bake correctly. But they still tasted really yummy, even though they were, like, really weird. But, yeah. So I wanted to mark that. Takeout bag is from Iconic Imperfections, and that was to mark that we had out back for dinner using this emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. And that is just to mark that I had a very, very late nap, which kind of ended up working out because I ended up working late anyway. Co uh, label sticker from the kit, computer from Bare Necessity Sticker Co., emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co., and that is to mark that I did a touch and soul order. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but uh, they make one of my favorite primers, and everything was on sale, so I just picked up a few things. Header sticker from the kit, teardrop sticker from my shop, and that box like delivery sticker is from Cross by Thawi, right? I think so. I made a mistake i meant to write s first so i just white it out and my simply gilded order and coffee monsters co order came on this day and that is how thursday turned out moving on to friday starting off with a full box i didn't put anything on it because i really didn't need anything there and then i'm going with these like corner stickers to kind of make a faux box and those are from the tassel planner and this is to mark aloha friday i couldn't find like a dainty floral sticker to mark aloha friday so i just marked it that way box sticker from the kit this boop munchkins are so cute from once more with love and then i do end up looking for a day date sticker and i use the one from kinsey's creation which is cold closed and we went to kohala mall on this day i know i disappear i don't want to stop the voiceover and edit this point out but yeah I realized I really need some like very sophisticated stickers for spreads like this where it's a lot more softer and muted and I don't want to call this girly but I do feel like this is a little bit more of a girly kit and I really don't have much sophisticated stickers that would match this. A lot of my stickers are very bold and colorful and I really have a hard time pulling stickers when I'm using these type of kits so maybe I'll have to come out with like a more sophisticated line in my shop so that i do have more options when i use these more softer muted type kits anyways moving on character from illustrated by kawi animal crossing script is from stella bow sticker co i believe i don't i have no idea where i disappeared to this time oh i was pulling a bow divider because i needed it to take up a little bit more room so i just pulled these from my shop i felt like this color matched the deeper color of the roses perfectly and then I am using another, or that, the rest of the washi strip using the box sticker to cut out or measure out 1.5 inches instead of cutting it on the paper. And then on top of this, I am putting a sticker from Crafts by Thawi. It's a playground sticker. You'll see it in a second. And then I'm marking that I took Ryder to the park on this day. And it was super nice. It was super cool outside. We walked there. Destiny didn't want to go. So it was just me and Ryder. And I just had some me and Ryder time. And that is how Friday turned out. Moving on to Saturday. Saturday, I really didn't know what to put down. I worked, I think, 14 hours on it this day. I'm sorry you're out of frame, but I did trim one of the stickers from the kit and then put on this Kauai TV sticker that I sold as a $2 Tuesday. We watched Jungle Cruise this day, putting down a label sticker from the kit. Is it raining? Oh, it's raining. Sorry, I got super excited. I had to pause the recording because I had to look outside. I love the rain. Anyways, I trimmed this Craft by Thawi sticker so that it wouldn't take up too much room and I had room to work to mark the 14-hour workday. I also worked 
super long on Sunday also. I am not a fashion girl type of girl. Like, I really don't care for them, but I really needed something to take up a lot of space because I literally had nothing else to write. And this kit came with this super long fashion girl, and I guess I could have, like, well, I didn't want to cut out her head, but I guess I could have cut out the opposite side and cut out her head, but I feel like that would have been a little bit more weird. But I do end up using it because, like I said, I just needed something to take up space. I measured completely wrong and I had to go and cut it. I decided to cut it on the paper this time so that I knew exactly where to cut. So I lay her down and then I just fold over the paper to know where I needed to cut, bring out my ruler, bring out my little knife thing, and I still end up cutting it crooked. So you'll see that I'll pull out a bow divider from once more love to you cover my mistake because yeah it, it still ended up crooked not too bad but it, enough to bother me and that is how i finished off saturday if i had another way to mark it i would have but at this point i really don't want to think so the fashion girl it was plus she's wearing leopard print so i guess that's a plus anyways moving on to sunday i used the other half of the sticker that i cut which i don't think you were in frame I was in frame for that so I'm sorry about that and I just put down a coffee cup from Crafts by Thawi to mark the morning coffee I was so tired box sticker from the kit and then that washi tape doodle is from my shop and this is to mark that it was the coffee and Christmas magical mouse washi tape release on it this day Christmas and coffee is my favorite so I figured it'd be perfect to release those together header sticker from the kit box sticker also from the kit i don't need it so i don't mark anything on it moving down pizza box sticker from crafts by thawi and we had this place called sophie's gourmet pizza i had to think about how to spell gourmet and looking at it now i don't know if it's correct but we're gonna leave it anyway and yeah we just had pizza on this day label sticker from the kit tea and doodle from my shop and then this memory plan sticker is from letters to apollo to mark that i did memory plan on this day and lastly, I'm putting down this emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. rushing to a pillow because I was so exhausted from pretty much the entire work week. Moving on to the sidebar, I decided to use... What is this box called? Routine? No. What? I, I cannot for the life of me think of what this box is called, but I'm using it to mark memories for the day. So I just take one thing from each day and mark that down. So Monday I chose that I wrote or chose that I put on new nails. Tuesday, we watched Red Notice. Wednesday, the PS4 controllers disappeared. Thursday, Jaden stayed home. Friday, day date. Saturday, 14 hour workday. And then Sunday, the Magical Mouse washi tape release. So I just did it as like one highlight for the day. I probably should have wrote highlight instead of memories because this entire spread was a memory planning spread, so yeah i didn't think that through by the time i was done filming it it almost took me two hours to do this spread uh, no maybe an hour and a half but anyways this is how the week turned out i really love the muted soft colors really calming but anyways here's the first half of the week turning to the second half of the week when are you turning are you turning now now you're turning so there's the second half of the week but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you always so much for watching and i will catch you guys in my next one bye guys